constraints show limitations on elements of your UML diagrams. They give restrictions and conditions of various kinds. When you think about it, a lot of what you do in your diagrams is show constraints in various ways. For example, multiplicity can function as a kind of constraint. Uh, here, for example, we have an employee works in either one or two departments. No more, no less. So that's a good example of how multiplicity works as a constraint. But you can express constraints more formally as well. For example, you can express constraints as preconditions or postconditions. And probably the best way to do that is by attaching a note where the constraint applies. For example, here we have the employee class. One or more employee works on one or more project. Let's add a constraint in the form of a note that specifies that an employee must work for the department that manages the project. Notes use the symbol that you see here. It looks kind of like a piece of paper with the corner folded over. A note indicates a constraint by using curly brackets. So the constraint is enclosed within the curly brackets. So we have here the opening curly bracket, employee must work for the department that manages the project, and the closing curly bracket. And we anchor that constraint to where it applies, in this case this association, by a dotted line. You can use notes to specify anything you want in your UML diagrams, and as I said, they're particularly useful for constraints. Another way you can show constraints is to append them to the feature they apply to. For example, we have a project that's managed by a department. One department manages one or more projects. In both of these classes, we have attributes called budget, and in the project class we have an operation called get budget. We might want to add a constraint to that to indicate a precondition, and here we have get budget, it's an integer, and the curly brackets show we have a precondition, project budget is less than or equal to department budget. So you could show it you could show the constraint in that manner or you can show the constraint as a note that attaches to the association between the project and the department whatever you prefer. When you're dealing with notes, you can use natural language as I have here, you can use a programming language or a pseudo programming language and you can also use the object constraint language. The thing to keep in mind when you're deciding how to word your constraints is who's your audience people on the business side won't understand object constraint language and it can often be best to use natural language. On the other hand, natural language can sometimes be ambiguous in ways that you don't want, so depending on who's reading your diagram, use the language that they will understand best and most clearly.